a carpenter holds a 12 pound 2 inch by 4 inch board is shown 2 inch by 4 inch is the cross section of this board right so if i draw that cross section that cross section is nothing nothing to do with the solution of this problem but let me show it this is the cross section of this board so the this is 2 this width is 4 and the height is 2 right so this is the cross section now a carpenter holds a 12 pound uh, 2 inch by 4 inch board is shown if he exerts vertical forces on the board determine the force at A and B. So now the board has a weight of 12 pounds and that weight need to act at the mid length of this uh, board right since the total length of this board is 6 plus 2 is 8 so that weight must be acting at the mid point of this 8 feet uh, length right so let us say that somewhere here is that weight which is going to act and that is 12 pound and from this point B, uh, from here to here, from this end A, this distance need to be 4 feet. And from B, this will be this 4 minus 2, so this is 2 feet. And the, the boy must apply the force at point B and A, and let us say that he applies the force at point B in the upward direction, let us say this is, this is the normal force at B and let us say that he applies the normal force in the downward direction at A, this is an A. So now if we apply the summation, since the board is in equilibrium, uh, so if we apply the summation of moment about point A uh, equals to 0 and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So, since an A is passing through this point A, so it will, it is not going to produce the moment about point A. So, this and B is producing the moment in the counterclockwise direction. So, I will write plus and B and the perpendicular distance of this and B, uh, that is the moment arm of this and B from that point A is 2 feet. So, I will multiply it with 2 and this weight is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 12 and the moment arm of this 12 pound force from that point A is this 4 feet. So, I will multiply it with 4 and this is equal to 0. Uh, we can say that and B is equal to 12 into 4 divided by 2. So, this will give us uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 12 into 2 is 24. So, and B is 24 pound and we got this plus sign. So, this means that the assumed direction of N B is, is accurate, right? So, N B is 24 pounds and it is acting in the upward direction. Similarly, if we uh, apply the summation of forces in the vertical direction, that is in the y direction, if this is, if this is our positive x and this is our positive y. So, if we apply the summation of forces along y and this is our positive y direction, so, then as we can see that uh, this NA is acting in the downward direction. So, I will write minus NA. Or let me write that this NB is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write plus NB. The weight is acting in the downward direction that is in the negative direction and NA is acting in the downward direction. So, this is equal to 0 or from this equation if I bring this NA to the other side of the equation. So, we will have the equation like this and now NB is known NB is 24 minus 12 this is equal to n a. So, 24 minus 12 is 12 pounds and n a is acting in the downward direction. So, this is the normal force applied by the carpenter at point a which is 12 pound and at point b is going to apply the 24 pound force in order to have equilibrium in order to have this board in equilibrium. Now, the third problem is that the weight of the bicycle is 29 pound with center of gravity at G. Determine the normal force at A and B when the bicycle is in equilibrium. So, this bicycle is in equilibrium, its weight is going to act at this point G and the weight is 29 pounds. So, let me show that uh, weight, weight is acting at this point G, let us say this is the weight. Let me put it here. This is weight which is 29 pounds. Let me write it as 29 pounds. And there is the the surface going to apply the normal force at at A. 
we will have this Na force, normal force at A and we will have the normal force at B. So now we have to find this Na and Nb. So if we apply the summation of the moment at point A equals to 0 since the system is in equilibrium and the counterclockwise moment is positive. So as we can see that uh, this Na is passing through this point A so it is not going to produce the moment about this point A. So this Nb is producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write Nb. And the perpendicular distance of this and B from that point A is this 18.5 inch plus 22.5 inch. So I will multiply this with this is the moment arm of this and B. So 18.5 plus 22.5. And this is producing the counterclockwise moment that is positive. And this weight is producing the clockwise moment. So I will write minus 29 and the moment arm of this 29 pound force from this point is 18.5 or we can say that 18.5 inch is the perpendicular distance of this 29 pound force from this point A. So I will multiply it with 18.5 and this is equal to 0. Now if I bring this to the other side of equation so it will become positive and if we divide both side of equation by this. So let me write and B is equal to 29 into 18.5 divided by 8, this is 18.5 plus 22.5. So this gives us NB, so 29 into 18.5 divided by 18.5 plus 22.5. This gives me 13.08 or we can say that this is approximately 13.09. So, 13.09 pounds. This is NB. Again, we have to apply the summation of forces in the y direction that is equal to 0. So this is again our positive x and y direction. So this is our positive y direction. So we can say that an A is acting in the upward direction. So an A plus an B minus that weight. Weight is acting in the downward direction which is 29. This is equal to 0 and from this we can say that an A is equal to, if we bring these two terms to the other side of the equation. So we will have 29 minus an B. So 29 minus an B is 13. Point 09. So, this is 29 minus 13.09. This gives us 15.91, 15.91 pounds. So this is that Na, the normal which is applied by the surface at A and this is the normal which is applied by the surface at B and both of them are acting in the upward direction.